Yo, what is going on y'all? I'm Cavell Anderson and we are back with another video. And this one we'll be talking a little bit about DoDash. This is for DoDash's audience and subscribers who are looking to do YouTube and succeed and be very, very successful. If you don't know who I am, this is one of my channels. This isn't the channel where I started making content to help be helpful on YouTube. I actually started that on another channel. This channel right here is a channel that I had with, like you see that subscriber count. And I mean, I just, I, I wasn't really using this channel for anything. I've been messing around, testing a lot of different stuff here. And I'm like, you know what? I wanna help people, I'm gonna do that from this channel. And my other channel, I do my business and finance on that channel. So I decided to switch up channels. Um, I have multiple channels, lots of different channels with hundreds of thousands of subscribers plus and things like that, tens of millions, hundreds of millions of views and a billion total across everything. Uh, you've probably heard about me at this point. Um, but that being said, what we're gonna talk about in this video is some of the lies that people believe about DoDash that needs to be forgotten in order to succeed on YouTube. I've seen a lot of people saying, yo, go girl. I love how you didn't play the YouTube game for the algorithm. I care about, I, I love how you don't care about the titles and, and the, you don't do descriptions or tags and all of this stuff. And you, that that's what made you successful. And it's like, and, and just believe in God. It's like <laughs> the, the things that people think God is out here doing. God is not out here messing with a YouTube algorithm. Somebody put in work to make that alg algorithm. You got to put in work to, to see success using that algorithm. That's what it is. God is not going to sit here and hold your hand and baby you. So you're the one exception that don't have to put in no damn work. Like if you, if you look in the Bible, he's out here having people build boats. He's having people lead people to freedom. They're working, they're doing things. And then you think you can get on YouTube and say, Oh, thank God. And now you're like, come on now, get your ass up and get to work. Stop being lazy. Um, that being said, um, the reality is the reason that she's blew up on YouTube is a hundred percent because of the algorithm. It had nothing to do with her not, Doing, doing all the stuff that she's been saying that she's done had nothing to do with any of that. She hit the algorithm for a topic that was, uh, it was missing, it was missing, it was it was missing a content creator or missing someone making content, but it was a wide audience looking for it. So let me show you all, let me show you all something. Um, now, as you can see, her views is going down, all this stuff. I mean, I, I was, I told her before that happened that this was going to happen. I mean, this was no, this is not, it's not that it's not rocket science. I told you exactly why it was going to happen in those videos that I was making, and I explained it. And then the fans was like, "No, no, you, you just like, you, how you gonna tell her? How you going This is how I'm gonna tell her. It's the reason that I am where I'm at, where I am, and I've been here for ten years doing this full time. And she's probably gonna be back in a regular job by next year. Like it, it sucks. It's and and this is what I was trying to prevent. I, I tried to prevent it, but this is what happens. But anyway, at the end of the day, check out these videos. This is the videos that made her popular. Finally, monetize my channel. This is how much money I made in 11 days. She has monetized channel that ranks for YouTube. She has money I made. Money monetized channel YouTube. All, all of that links back to grow, growth and, and success on YouTube. So that's the algorithm she'll be going in. If you're over 50, get your ass on YouTube right now. YouTube, the YouTube help and then the over 50. Being being 50 plus, it's a, that's a huge audience. Major people are looking for how to start over at 50 and things like that. That is a massive audience. She actually had a subscriber who blew up in that niche as well. She had a subscriber who who came to my um, other channel to ask for a little bit of help and make sure she was on the right track when it comes down to her channel. She came to my channel to ask for help and she blew. She had a viral video that hit six hundred thousand views, more than more than Dodash even hit herself. She had a, a a video that did that in in this niche as well. So, like that that's a huge and very powerful niche. Um. If you pretty get your ass on YouTube, obviously she played off of the virality of one of her videos and she made another one and it worked at one time because it was being related back to this video. But you know, it's not, It's it was never gonna keep working. Um, YouTube revenue update, this has to be a joke. Then she started talking about YouTube money. Um, never going back to a nine to five. She's talking about leaving a nine to five, which once again goes back to money. This is an outlier video. Um, I didn't succeed on YouTube until I learned this. Now she's talking about YouTube at a risk of deactivation. This is a clickbait title. All the people who have been watching her videos, she clickbaited them with this title. So they were recommended this video thinking that she lost everything. So some people were being nosy, some people were happy for her downfall, all of this stuff. But it, that was a clickbait video that got the attention of everyone who has been watching her videos um, throughout the time where she was making making this content. So um, like I can explain to you why, why every single video has done exactly what it's done because the YouTube algorithm is working how it always has worked. It's very simple. Like, and, and you, those you think, oh, she's not using tags, tags and stuff these days, it's meant for more so misspellings and things like that. Tags don't hurt, but it don't necessarily help anything anyway. Once you, once YouTube, YouTube can hear the things you say in your video, 
YouTube can can see your titles. And that's really all that matters. If it's titled in a way where it's understanding, where they understand what's being said, and then they can read through what you're saying, and it's targeting something specific, like get on YouTube and things like this, they're going to place it where it needs to be placed. That's how the algorithm works. So tags and stuff just gives you a slight edge. It's not like it, it really does too, too much. Like if you make good content, you're still gonna make good content, but check this out. Like I told you all, this is not just me guessing, by the way. Like, so look at this, monetize my channel. This is how much money I made, blah, blah, blah. Then you type in monetize my channel, how much money I made. Look at this, finally monetize my channel. She popped up for that. Finally monetize my channel. This is how much money I made. Her viral video was right there. And then she popped up for it again because she had already made a viral video that went here once. So she's more likely to get recommended by her own video once again. She's at the top of this search result right here. She's literally at the top of this search result. Welcome to the YouTube algorithm. So for everybody sitting here convinced that you don't have to respect the YouTube algorithm and it's not going to help you, you're going to have a very, very long journey on YouTube thinking that you can just bypass everything that everyone else has to do because she didn't even do it. She just didn't know what she did. So she's been sitting here trying to spam a bunch of videos, hoping to replicate the same thing over and over, not realizing, no, she was supposed to use that audience and use that buzz to push her into something different. She found a powerful niche, it boosted her, and she had enough power in her channel to get boosted into a niche, a sub niche right next to what she was already doing. And she blew it. It's crazy, like like this, and this, this is what I was trying to warn before it happened, because she could have easily pivoted with the niche that she, she had chose. She chose a very powerful niche to start pivoting into a lot of money making niches. And she chose to sit here and try to keep spamming the same video over and over and over and think that that was going to work. No, all she did was tired her audience out. People ignore her videos and that's going to make it harder for her to rank to any, for anything new when she had the power to rank for everything. And, and of course the subscribers, like when I, when I make my videos criticizing her, the subscribers are going to defend her and stuff like that. But that, that defense is not going to stop her from destroying her career. It, it never was going to, but anyway, check this out. Then she said, then, then you type in, get on YouTube. Look at the first video to pop up. I type in, get on YouTube. Look what pops up. Come on now, get on YouTube. Anybody, <laughs> anybody looking up, get on YouTube or, or variations of this, variations of this. Like, look who's popping up. Then you go to type in, get on YouTube at 50. If you're over 50, get your ass on YouTube right now. Like, come on now. She's all over these rankings, bro. Like. YouTube revenue update. Guess who you see here? She is all over the YouTube algorithm. So people genuinely believing that you can do YouTube and you don't have to respect the algorithm. You don't have to do this. You don't have to do that. That's just showing how uneducated you are. And listening to somebody who bear, she has 3 million views total in her career. And a lot of people are arguing with somebody who has hundreds of millions. It's like, her her greatest like her greatest career accomplishment is a bad month for me and and this is not to flex it's just to put it into perspective it's put it's to put it into perspective it's like it's like somebody teaching you exactly how to make a billion dollars and you're listening to somebody who only has ever seen a thousand what like how does that even work like at the point where you learn how to make $1,000, you can tell people how you made $1,000, but even still, you might not even know, like, it's different ways to make $1,000. You can make it at different speeds. So it's, does the speed match? If it takes you two years to make $1,000, do you wanna learn how to make $1,000 from that person? When this person can make $1,000 in, in 10 minutes? Like, no, the person who made it in 10 minutes, they're better at making $1,000. It's like, I want, I, want, I want to learn from the good person, not the person who, bro, you can literally collect one can a day for two years, put all them cans together and take it to the, the junkyard and they'll give you $1,000 for that in two years. It's like, I'm cool, I'm cool. I would, I would rather just make a video, hit the algorithm and, and make $1,000 just for, for talking. And that's easily possible. Any of you all can do it, any of you all can, can succeed at this. It's not complicated to grow on YouTube, but this is why I developed my course because I'm only gonna give so much for free. I'm only gonna give so much insights. I can prove to you time and time and time again that I know what I'm talking about, but I can only do so, I'm only gonna do so much for free. I know the value in what I say. I know the value in the things that I say. So at the end of the day, like 
with me and the stuff that I know is guaranteed that you will be successful. It's not no, oh, maybe you will, maybe you won't. No, if you don't, if you're not lazy, you're going to be successful. It's no, no if, ands, or buts about it. I have so many successful channels. I've grew from zero time and time again. There is no debate about if you're going to be successful. It, it does like no debate whatsoever. The thing is, if you believe it, and, and I'm not going to sit here and pump up your beliefs and something like, I'm not going to motivate you and say, oh, you ain't got to work. You ain't got to use tags. You ain't got to worry about this. No, you're going to have to work your ass off. <laughs> That's the reality. You're going to have to work your ass off. But I can make sure I put you down a direction and a path to where you're working your ass off for something that's going to work. Not sitting here spamming videos like she did and, and it never works for you. So then you end up giving up 20 videos in if, if you even make it there. It's like, I can, I can put you down the right path. But that being said, my course, my, my everything is in the description if you want to take that. And I also will continue posting free content. My free content will be more than enough to put, point you in the right direction. My course and stuff, it just holds your hand. It's like, here, let's go. I'm going to walk you to success. That's the difference between my course and my content on YouTube. My content on YouTube, I'm a, hey, yo, go that way. My course, I'm a, bring your ass here. We going to the top. That's the difference. <laughs> that, that's, that's the difference. So that being said, let me know what you all think. Be sure to drop that thumbs up and let me know um, in the comment section anything else you all want me to touch on and, and, and um, teach you all about here on YouTube. Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications, and I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace out, friend.